Good evening and thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Dan Jovic. Ellis Island and the Statue of Liberty are symbols of hope for immigrants arriving to the United States wishing to live the American dream. As immigration has become a controversial topic, we visit a local church who helps those who have followed the legal process take the next steps. It's our top story tonight. NBC 6's Jenna Vitamonti joins us now live from Church for the Highlands sharing more. Hi, Jenna. Hi, Dan. Yes, this church gives opportunity to so many people around the world, reuniting them with their families, some sponsors, even helping with transportation and much more. America is a best country for liberty, for democracy and right. Church for the Highlands and Louisiana Aid provide temporary comfort and stability for immigrants traveling to the United States in search for a better life. It is perfectly legal under international and U.S. law to seek asylum and that right should continue to be respected. The stories that we've heard about them and the things that they've experienced um, is, is just uh, alarming. It was three months on the journey from Ecuador and he went through the Darien Gap, which is a part of the jungle between um, Panama and Colombia that is extremely dangerous. After surviving the journey, immigrants are housed in detention centers. Louisiana has the second highest number of immigration detention centers, with nine across the state. Texas has 26. These detention centers used to be prisons. They still operate very much as prisons. Those seeking asylum are released from the detention centers after the government allows them to move forward with their legal case. The next stop is a safe space like Church for the Highlands. The first thing that they do when they get off of the bus uh, is they come to the altar. They're at the altar rails and they are praying and you see the tears running down their faces. And so it's a, it's a wonderful uh, feeling to be able to provide that hospitality. It is incredibly important that this community continue to support people who are fleeing from horrific situations. Funding for this program does come from grants and donations. Live, I'm Jenna Vitamonti, NBC6 News. That's a good perspective provided. Jenna, thanks so much.